Yeah, we'll be a good group, man. We just got to, like I said, I got to get back on the field. Um, I get back to the rhythm of things, the rhythm of things, uh, you know, get my legs under me. Uh, I mean, I haven't really pushed against the O-line and I've taken on the double team since the last season. So um, it's going to take a couple of days to get the rust off, maybe a, a week or so to get the rust off, and um, I'll be fine. I'll be where I need to be. Do you have to sometimes fight yourself and be, to be patient when you're coming back from an injury and trying not to do too much? Well, I think in the position that I'm in, um, I would say that uh, I, there's no way, no, there's no reason for me to fight it and get the itch to get back out there. Um, sooner than the, the trainers and the, the coaching staff, the medical staff, all those guys expect me to be. Um, I always, I felt that way from the other time I had surgery, you know, take my time and you know get healthy and follow whatever they, they, they got me doing, and, and, and that's what I'm doing right now. Being a veteran guy, do you still take mental reps during training camp? Do you still kind of focus in on what's going on? And you know, does that help you kind of get Absolutely, back in the man. I'm always, um, I want to know in practice when I'm on the sideline, I want to know what's the play call, what's the strength call, if it's left, is it right? I'm always watching the guys up front to see if, um, you know, they're doing things right. Or, and when we're in the film room, um, when we're going over the little things, the stuff I can help them with, um, just tips and stuff to make them a better player. And just, you know, just kind of like, you know, lead those guys to, to the way to gym like the defense. Um, you're able, played. So you're able to get your head where it's got to be before the body maybe catches up. Oh, you you got to stay mentally ready, man. You got to stay mentally ready. You know, I'm, like you said, I'm always like taking those mental reps. Like I just said, I want to know the plays. I want to know the strength <laughs> call. And, and that takes you, you know, it, it helps you a whole lot. Fletch, you encouraged by where you are right now? Where wants to go? I'm in a, I'm in a good position. Um, uh, you know, following the plan, man, as, as I said, as I keep repeating it, you know, I'm just, we came up with a plan months ago to get me where I need to be. And right now, you know, everything is, is playing out good. Uh, no setback, so um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. It's feisty out there. You like that. It matches the city, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously, you guys have seen the Diller stuff. And for me, I, I was happy to see that, man, to see a, a young guy getting after it. Got after it again today. So, you know, he's to the point where, you know, if anybody wants something, they can come get some. So I, I love seeing that. Um, go ahead. Yeah, and just reflecting the city, too. Would yeah. you say that that's... Yeah, I mean, blue collar, hard nose, you know, not taking from anybody. Um, and, uh, you know, when Diller came out, you know, you heard a lot about, like, his pride protection and, you know, stuff like that. But I think he's really doing a good job as far as the, the physicality, you know, in the run game and, you know, really setting the tone of, you know, the type of player that he wants to be known as. So, uh, you know, I, I've been excited. He's done a hell of a job out there. Um, so, man. Well, you like that feistiness. Is there that fine line rookies have to learn that you can have that aggressiveness, but you have to be careful not to go over the line? Uh, yeah, kind of. I don't know if there's really, you know, going over the line, like, you know, as far as football player, because, I mean, it's a, it's a contact game. So, but, uh, you know, some things, maybe like yesterday, you know, we didn't have pads on and, you know, just learning how to practice. But uh, I'd rather have somebody who, you know, it's going 110 miles an hour and then makes a mistake instead of somebody who's, you know, going 50 miles an hour. You know what I mean? So, yeah. You've got a smile now. You have a smile out on the field. What can you tell us about your progress? Uh, well, I'm going to go see the doctor here, uh, you know, tomorrow and, you know, hopefully things go well. Uh, you know, hopefully get cleared to do some team reps and, you know, get back out there with the guys. Um, you know, it's it's been a, it's been a long process, but... You know, hopefully here soon, you know, coming to the end as far as the rehab and, you know, everything like that. Mentally, um, a lot of trust in it. I think the biggest thing for me was being able to, you know, not start on pup and to start, you know, doing drills with the guys or doing group install. And, you know, you get put in positions, you know, when you're doing that where you're not really thinking about it. You just got to go. And, you know, I haven't had an issue, haven't had a setback. So, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully next week we'll start getting some team reps. So. physicality between the offense and defensive line here in camp. Um, what can that signal for where this team's at right now? Um, they can just signal that everybody just tired of camp and ready to see some real people, you know, some real um, some real games. That's what I will say. But we all know that's a part of it. You know, we love to see it because we understand it's a long camp. It's a hard camp, hot camp, but um, we'll be better for it. <laughs> you guys are going down to Jacksonville. I know this team keeps in close contact with Nick Foles. He might not be playing this week, but I mean, what's it just like for you guys to maybe hug, catch up briefly with him down there? Oh, it's going to be cool. You know, it's always love when we see Nick, you know, or any former players. Um, we just going to go down there and try to handle business and, you know, um, kind of see where we are as a defense because uh, I think this is the first time a couple of us be out there. So I'm excited for that and um, 
you know, just just can't wait to get um, you know, get after it if Nick is out there. You gonna be out there on Thursday? Hmm? You gonna be out there Thursday? I don't know, but I mean, I know a couple guys uh, probably, you know, going more, a couple more than uh, the first game. I know you said you had a special way you wanted to greet Nick if you were out there, correct? <laughs> no, you ain't gonna catch me. You ain't gonna catch me saying none of that. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm gonna be excited to see him though. I am gonna uh, either that way or uh, or on the field. PG, you got a favorite Nick Foles story? Um. Really just, you know, knowing that Nick was going to retire the year he won the Super Bowl, you know, because his elbow and everything was all kind of, you know, he was just, he just felt like his elbow wasn't getting better. You know, he started doing acupuncture, started doing some stuff that we, you know, tried to add to, you know, something that could help him and end up helping him. And, man, look what he do, look what he's doing now. You know, that's my favorite story because I remember him coming in the first day. Um, I'm back and first time seeing him. And was just like, man, you know, how you doing? Checking up, you know, checking in, just seeing how he was doing. And I remember him saying that he was going to retire uh, after this year because, you know, his elbow and stuff was messing up. And then, like I say, I just went to him and was like, man, you know, you should try acupuncture, you know, uh, you know, just to see if it make you feel better. He ended up trying it, it made him feel a little better. And then it started progressing, you know, getting better. And then, man, Nick just waited on his moment. And that boy just took off. And, um, you know, I'm excited for him. You know, that was... That was nothing but God, I know, because I know he was ready to be done. He was ready to be done, and, you know, I mean, that's why I say never give up. Did you mm -hmm. see thinking about retiring this season? Uh, no, this was before. Uh, he was talking about after season, you mm -hmm. know, because he was just saying that, you know, pushing through some of the injuries that he had, that it was a little much. And then now it's like, man, look at him now. Won the Super Bowl, uh, got him a nice – Fat contract, you know, and uh, leading leading a great great organization in Jacksonville. I think the elbow, I think that was from autographing all those books. Ah, uh, probably so. Elbow, hey, yeah. no, that was before. I mean, that, he was hurting before, but he probably uh, hurt it a little bit uh, with all the uh, books that he did have to sign. <laughs> I know it may not feel like it, but today was the last official day of training camp. Uh, has it feel just to make it through another one? Who said that? That's, that's what the calendar says. That's what the calendar says? Say? Oh, okay. Well, uh, I need the days to be shorter, right? No, nah, I'm messing with you. Uh, no, nah, I feel good, though. Honestly, uh, you know, Doug did a great job this year. You know, I'm, it's not over yet. You know, we still count the whole month of August to the first game. You know, um, it's, it's camp for real. But um, I think that, um, you know, we did a good job. I think it's a lot of guys that I can't wait to see get back, like Fletch. You know, um, I can't wait to see his full strength because we're looking good now. But uh, I'm excited to get them boys up to speed so we can uh, look, at, look even better. Mm -hmm. One thing that they've been seeing at the top of my pass protection is just the use of my hands. And so, yeah, these after classes with Wiz and, and Kelsey are tremendous to me, uh, tremendous value. So, uh, I'm very lucky to have the expertise and this experience behind uh, myself and just to have it at you know, my fingertips. And uh, I love those boys so much. They help me a lot. When you talk about hand placement, what exactly is it? Is it setting the hands, where you place the hands, just resetting? It's the, it's the placement of the hands. Um, you know, just sometimes uh, I, 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 I think I know what I'm doing, you know, you know just shoot them out quick. But, you know, Master Jason Kelsey is telling me, young Padawan, really, we need to start from the top again. So, yeah, he's awesome. Just uh, you know, kind of get a, you know, go back to the basics and, and try and learn you know, fundamentals again. And just a better way of shooting your hands, you know, so you don't waste any mo energy. You know, we call it, um, oh, man. Forgetting what I'm, what the stat always says, economizing your emotion. That's what he says. Economizing, economizing your emotion. So I like that. Yeah. So he's got he's got, he's got something for everything. He's got doesn't a ton of sayings, man. Yeah. So it's crazy. How, what did you think of your performance last Thursday night in the preseason opener as you get ready for your second game out there at right tackle? I think it did good. Um, yeah. I like I told everyone else. Um, I think there was still you know, technique stuff that I need to work on um, just so I don't get beat around the edge and stuff. But um, uh, I think overall I'm very happy with the uh, performance, but I'm not satisfied, you know. I want to try and have a perfect game. But um, that's, you know, virtually it's, JP it's, doesn't have a perfect game. Kelsey hey, doesn't but, have a But see, I, I try and hold myself to a high standard. Um, I don't like using the, I've only been playing the, the game of football for, you know, one year and a half. I don't like that. I um, mean, you know, I see myself as a professional, so I try and hold myself to these standards. And, you know, every time I, I mess up, I can't help but uh, be really upset. And, you know, it's something that I'm working on, too, to just 
get a hold of the next play mentality. You know, the boys uh, coach me up on that as well. The next play, next play, come on. So I think I've been doing really well at that as well. How difficult is that mental aspect of maintaining your confidence and saying, you know what, if something happened, it's in the past, and that you can just move on to the next snap? It, honestly, it's, it's easier said than done. Um, you know, like, I guess people just, if they hold themselves to a high standard, and um, you know, every time they fail, it's just like, you know, we knew better, why didn't we execute? And it's something that you know, I'm still learning, and it's very important to adapt that to your game so you can focus on the next play. And, and so you, <laughs> the last play doesn't affect the next you know, 25 plays that you have. Do you, so, have to, do you have to do anything off the field to help with that? Do you have to do anything to help you know keep that mental toughness, that mental strength? Um, no, I think I think life does that on its own. You know, it's sort of like life as well. You know, something bad happens, and sometimes you just have to be like, all right, you can, you know, what can you control? And I think nothing that you will do outside will prepare you until you come game, come game time. So. How much are you looking forward to second chance to start at right tackle? I can't wait. I can't wait. So it's an honor and a blessing. And um, you know, I thank my coaches for giving me this time to represent you know, and wear this uh, number and the Eagles badge on my, my jersey. So I'm pretty happy and pretty excited. I'm stoked. After practice, how important is that time to kind of learn more about the scheme and develop that chemistry with your teammates? Oh, it's extremely important. You know, you need it to be, um, to be a great defense. You know, um, the, the back end definitely has to be in one accord. And, um, you know, staying back and doing some things together and uh, just talking about the game, getting better is um, what you need to do. What's it like coming into a locker room with guys like Malcolm and Rodney and now Orlando, guys who have been proven in the NFL, adding yourself to the mix in that? Uh, I think it's wonderful, man. You know, um, it's a lot of mix of guys who's been around the league and saw a lot of football. And uh, we can do nothing but learn from each other, help, from, help each other, and um, motivate each other while we're out here playing. Are there things that you're still picking up? Oh, yeah, 100%. You know, um, it's, there's never a time where you stop learning in this game. Uh, you never see everything. You see a lot of things, but you don't see everything. So um, working with these guys and seeing the offense try to beat us, we try to beat the defense every day, it's, it's fun. What was it like for you last Thursday night to knock off the rust, get that first game action under your belt in over a year? Oh, man, it was, it was, it was incredible. Um, I loved it just to go out there. You know, I had a little rust, you know, and that's exactly what I did. Um, knocked it off. I felt good out there running around and playing, playing, playing some football, you know, having fun out there. It was a good time. Do you feel like a kid again just of having that opportunity after it was taken away from you from the injury? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was a, it's a true blessing. And, um, you know, I love the game. Uh, so you definitely have to put the fun in it, but also it's definitely focus. And um, as far as, you know, understanding what you have to do, and recognizing plays and making plays. So when you get to do that, it's always fun. What's it been like getting acclimated to the locker room and the whole situation here in Philadelphia? Oh, it's been great. You know, um, we know what the, uh, I know what the organization wants to bring here, and that's a, that's a Super Bowl. And, um, you know, I've never had one. I'm definitely chasing that. So we're on the one accord with that. Um, obviously, the fans, the, the great fans here in Philadelphia have been um, amazing. That's the first thing I pretty much heard about that and the food here. So um, I can't wait to figure out more. Can't wait to go in there um, to our next home game and um, just embrace the crowd and the fans again and going out and getting some food. What's it going to be like going back to Jacksonville? Oh, it's going to be fun, you know. I'm going over there to make plays and have fun with my teammates. Um, Jacksonville is a place I got drafted by, so, you know, I'm um, very um, respectful and grateful for that whole organization. But um, I'm going to go out there, do what I do, what I've been doing for many years, and having fun. This is like a revenge tour for you. First in Tennessee, <laughs> now <it's> Jacksonville. Like. <laughs> you would think so, right? It's crazy. But you know, um, uh, that's how things add up sometimes. And I'm going to let the story write itself out. It's going to be fun. Um, like I said, I'm going to go out there um, with the help of my teammates and my coaches and try to play to the best of my ability. And um, I'm, I'm expecting it to be real fun for us to get out there with a win. You feel like you, you're comfortable with your role and what they're asking of you in this defense? Yeah, um, 100%. Right now we are still 
you know, going through some things. I'm still in the playbook, and we're still um, learning and teaching and just moving pieces around. It's training camp. We're doing exactly what we should be doing. And, um, yeah, it's just real, com it's real competitive. Come out here to play every day, and it is, it's real fun. You have to spend a lot of time at night in the playbook. I know the rookies all talk about that, but as someone like you who's been in the league and has played in a few defenses, do you still find yourself doing that? Oh, yeah. Obviously, especially when I first got here. I've been up to about midnight, sometimes one. I'm like, dang, I need to get some sleep. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's worth it. All of it's coming together. Um, I have the whole the whole playbook down already. Now it's just getting acclimated to doing it on the field over and over again and then um, until it's like second nature. Last question, what's Jim Schwartz like as a coordinator? Uh, he's amazing. You know what? Um, I've heard a lot about him, um, but he's very smart. He knows exactly what everybody's doing on the field. Um, and um, he knows what he wants to get done. Uh, the scheme that he's doing, uh, the scheme that he has is, is it just makes so much sense, and it's understanding between not only him but the players as well. So um, I think when you have that um, relationship and understanding between everybody on a defense, um, you have a chance to be special. It was awesome getting out there last Thursday and playing, getting a little taste of it, and so now I'm just eager to get out there and play again. So when you watched the tape, what were some of the things you took away from that performance? Yeah, you know, I think first and foremost took away that you know, um, it's, it's not anything different than what we've been doing here in practice. Um, you know, obviously I was pretty excited, so I was out there chucking the ball, a little amped up. Uh, that, that was the reason for some of those throws over their head. But uh, more just excited, you know, and it kind of gave me more confidence heading into this week. The biggest thing is making that transition from you're going from training camp, you're getting into the preseason. You, got, you sort of have a routine, so to speak, in terms of how you prepare for the games. Do you, do you feel like you're starting to get that comfort level where you have that? Yeah, I am. You know, it's obviously a little different with our schedule, you know, coming from college to the NFL. And so, but at the same time, it's it's similar in terms of like, you know, we got walkthroughs and stuff. And so feeling good about, um, you know, our game plan leading up and kind of how we do go about things here. And so just looking forward to Thursday. How do you mentally prepare yourself? Because you're not getting a ton of reps you right. know, during the practices because Coach Peterson is really using this to get the starters and the backups yeah. ready. So knowing that you're going to be playing a lot of the game, how do you keep yourself prepared? Yeah, you know, you got to stay prepared, get mental uh, mental reps in practice. You know, you got to stay locked in the whole time and then just watching the film um, and watching film of, of Jacksonville and just staying up to date on everything we're doing. And uh, I think that's how you get better. You know, you can come out here and just only worry about the reps you're doing. And you're not going to get any better. And so um, you got to stay out of that and you got to just focus on each play and no matter if you're in or not. Have the vets given you any kind of advice? You know, because you mentioned you had a lot of nerves. You're really amped up, so right. to speak, for that first game of just how to deal with that. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think it was a lot of nerves. I was more just amped up. Yeah. And so, um, you know, they were just like, hey, you're here for a reason. You know, we drafted you for a reason. You know, we want you. And so um, I, I think they were just like, play your game and just, just be you. So it's nice to hear from them coming from guys who played a lot of ball.